Hey everyone, I hope you're enjoying the videos that we're publishing twice a week. And if you are, would you do me a favor? Would you hit the subscribe button? That way you'll be informed whenever a new video is coming out. Also, if you like a particular video, give it a thumbs up. And please feel free to leave comments. I love hearing what you guys are saying or what you're experiencing. I want to know what are you learning? How is the content that I'm giving you touching your lives and helping you to be better? And are there specific things that you would like me to talk about in the future? All those things are extremely valuable to me. So thank you very much for doing that. Hit the subscribe button, give us a thumbs up, write comments, and I respond to all of the comments that come in. So wonderful. Thank you so much for doing that for me. Over the last 21 videos, we've been talking about purpose-driven achievement, and we've gone soup to nuts on purpose-driven achievement from what is purpose, how do I define my purpose, all the way through uh, climbing a mountain, reaching the summit, and planning the next climb. But now we're going to embark on another journey in this next set of videos. I am a John Maxwell certified coach and a speaker as well. But many people don't know that I'm also a Dave Ramsey Certified Master Financial Coach. And so the next series of videos we're going to be doing are going to relate to managing your money and building wealth. That's so crucially important, especially in light of what's gone on in the last year. My financial coaching business has actually exploded because people have faced so many different circumstances of money struggles, getting into credit card debt, getting laid off from their jobs, looking for new opportunities for employment and things like that. And so this next uh, series of videos are going to be aimed at helping people understand and address the financial issues in their lives. And today I want to talk to you about connecting with your money because so much of the time people think that money is nothing but a process. You know, give me a spreadsheet, tell me what I need to do, that sort of thing. But money and really effectively managing your money starts with you. And it starts with asking a question and that is, what does money mean to you? Is it security? Is it status? Is it a matter of pride? Or is it just a tool that you see to be used to help yourself and others? And in order to be able to answer that question, we have to get back to our core beliefs because our core beliefs determine what money means to us. And that's the real key to things is understanding what is driving us. You know, things like your background. What have you been taught about money? Were your parents and your grandparents fiscally responsible people? Who are you married to, as an example? And how do your attitudes toward money or your beliefs about money differ from those of your spouse? All of those are things that we need to dig into and to really understand in order for you to be able to start dealing with the whole money issue in your life. And the the interesting thing is, is that the vast majority of people I start coaching come to me with uh, the attitude that they want me to be the answer man. Here's the financial problem I have. You know, give me, give me a solution. All I want is the solution. And so they're, they're looking sort of for the next mechanical steps, but they need to tackle their attitude and their beliefs first. So what I recommend when it comes to connecting with your money is that you get really, really gut level honest with yourself and get honest with your partner in life. How are you two alike? How are you different? Because you have to get on the same page, you have to be able to work as a team. And if you're in a situation where you don't have a partner, where you're by yourself, you still have to get gut level honest with yourself and say, how did I get to the situation that I'm in? What kind of bad habits have I created over time? And, and as you begin to explore that and you look at your belief systems and you look at the behaviors that are resulting from those beliefs, then you can begin to get an understanding of some of the things that you need to do to change your thinking about money because that's 
where the whole process begins. So I hope you enjoyed this video. Stay tuned. We're going to be talking about money for quite a while now. God bless you. Go live your life on purpose, and I'll see you soon.